This is the Chapter 1 Parts of Speech video. The video is intended to give you a general overview in a quick way, 10 minutes or less, of what will be covered in the chapter. The chapter itself, when you read it, should give you more detailed information and practice of what you have learned. Before you study something, it is always nice to know a general overview of what you're studying. In this case, Business English is the study of language fundamentals needed to communicate effectively in today's workplace. Later in the course, you will be constructing sentences in some short paragraphs, but the focus in this course is the grammar, which includes correct usage of words in sentences, capitalization, punctuation, number, number style, and spelling. It's also nice to know the why you would need this. Why is it in your degree plan? This course can refresh rusty skills, as most of this you have probably had throughout your education. You also will feel more confident and professional if you use the language correctly. We also know that those employees using correct grammar in the workplace are more successful in, general, in generally communicating. It may be that their first impression is from something you have written. A few years ago, I had an internship class, and at the end of the semester, a doctor contacted me and wanted to hire three students finishing their degrees for permanent positions. He asked that they email him with the resume. So the first impression that he would have of them would be what they said in that email and then the resume. Important to your success is being able to demonstrate language literacy. Don't forget that you can always get a partner or friend to proofread before you send something that important. As just mentioned, there are benefits, but not only of being hired, but being valued in the workplace and also promoted. Don't ever minimize the importance of language literacy in the workplace and the benefits. The ebook starts with an intensive study of the eight parts of speech and being able to identify each in sentences. The course continues to build on each unit, so it is important that you keep up with the schedule found in your syllabus and that you don't skip any of the units or chapters. Here's a quick summary of those parts of speech to help you identify them. You'll find this in your PowerPoint presentation that is in the course for you to take notes on. This table makes it very succinct and gives clarity to each of the parts of speech in a very quick way. Being able to identify the parts of speech is important to the remainder of your objectives. Of course, every sentence won't include every part of speech, but some of the basic ones can be found in the sentence as an example. Here are some general tips for not only this chapter, but for really the course. Get started and work every day on the assignments. Read the e-chapter first before beginning your assignments. Do all the reinforcements and use the tools to help you learn. Create yourself a schedule and stick to that schedule. And don't wait until the weekend to get started, as that just causes frustration uh, for you trying to get it finished quickly. You don't get as nearly as much from the course when you do that. Hopefully this video has helped in a very short, quick way. And I hope you have a great week.